Hi, welcome. Recently, there has been a lot of hype on these two roles, which is the data analyst role and the data scientist role. So I have received a lot of questions from subscribers who are confused on which one to follow. And at the end of the day, is there really any difference between the two roles? So in this video, we are going to discuss three things. The first thing we are going to look at is the similarity between these roles because definitely they have similarities. That's why there's that confusion. And the second thing we are going to look at is the difference between these two roles. So you are able to understand what a typical data analyst is supposed to do and what a typical data scientist is supposed to do. And the last thing is I'm going to give you my advice. So let's go straight to the first part which is the similarity between a data analyst and a data scientist. So the first thing they share in common is the fact that they analyze data to generate insight. So whether you're using R or you're using Python, at the end of the day, they all analyze data to generate insight to help the company take decisions and move forward. The second thing common to both of them is the fact that they all use statistics. They need statistics to be able to explain variances, difference in interquartile range for block box plots. This one is positively skewed, negatively skewed, outlier. So it's important for the two rules to be able to explain why they think that this decision to be taken, maybe because this variance for this one was less or was more. That's why he decided to go for this decision and the third and final comparison the, the third and final thing that is common between the two of them is the fact that they all need communication skills because these are all storytelling roles you need to be able to tell the story behind your model present your model and say okay this is what i found out after this analysis so both roles have to be able to communicate because it's a it's an applied science and it, it is very essential. If not, your models will not be adding value to the company because nobody will understand your black box, what you've done at the end of the day, if you don't come up and communicate to them, sell the idea to them on what you found out from your analysis. Okay, so let's dive straight now to the differences between the two roles. So I would like to say in some companies, the, the roles might be interwoven it's not really like clear cut everywhere, but then let's just take the average case and so that we can understand just where the data analyst is more focused and understand where the data scientist is more focused for the, the purpose of understanding their differences. So the first thing about the two of the first difference about the two of them is the fact that the data analyst role typically is close to top management, they need quick insights. Is close to the, the 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 marketing team, product team, so they need quick insights from the the the, the data analyst daily, and uh, most of the data the data analyst is working with is typically static data from the companies. Hardly more data gotten from outsources, from different sources, from complicated sources. So it's typically okay. Yesterday the north sold better than the south. At 11 p.m., we sold more than at 9 a.m. So it's just static, quick, quick insight. And whereas the data scientist usually gives insight that are more combined with, say, existing static data plus dynamic and then data gotten to predict because the data scientist uses a lot of machine learning. So you can maybe collect data from the internet, aggregate with the one that is currently in the database of the company to be able to give some complex predictions to, to, to your models. So that is somehow a difference between the two of them. And the second difference is the amount of the volume of data they deal with. Typically, the data analyst doesn't deal with too much volumes of data in most companies, whereas the data scientist deals with lots of data coming from different sources, lots of big data. And that's why it goes to the next point, which is the level of the tools that are needed. So for a data analyst with not much data, the data analyst will be contented with using mostly Excel and not, not, not too much of SQL, not just maybe Power BI for some visualization, but mostly Excel. 
because there's not too much data and the tools needed are not that complicated whereas the tools needed for uh, data sciences you you need to master programming languages like r python need to be very good with sql you know, power bi all, all that but really advanced stuff because when we go over to point four point four is about deploying models so the data analysts will typically not deploy models in the cloud just do quick analysis in Excel, do some graphs, trend lines, or just do some stuff and say, okay, they, we've taken quick decision. Management is taking a quick decision already based on my analysis. Whereas the data scientist typically is expected nowadays to build end-to-end -end models, partly because the, some of the stuffs are so advanced that in your black box, nobody will understand you. So you need to build your pipeline right from collecting the data, mastering SQL, cleaning the data with stuff like pandas, uh, building the model, scikit-learn, then deploying the model in the cloud like AWS, Heroku, Azure. So they, uh, that's why there's the new role, which is um, MLOps, which is machine learning ops. Um, I'm going to, in a later video, we are going to discuss about that. But the clear difference here is that the, the deployment is mostly done by the data scientists and not the data analysts. So let's move now to my, uh, my advice. My advice is you should move, start as a data analyst before moving to a data scientist. Unless you're in a high tech company like Facebook, Google, there are companies that really, their products are really high tech and they need data scientists to come hit the ground running immediately. But for most companies, which banks, most companies where you need maybe in health analytics, you need credit analysts and all the most companies, you will be beneficial to start as an analyst. Let me list you a few reasons why it's always beneficial to start as an analyst for moving to a data scientist role. So the first reason is that as a data analyst, you understand the business better because you're working with the product team, the marketing manager, the, you're, 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 you're so close to the daily operations of the business, customer experience, so you'll be able to understand the business so that subsequently, if you choose to become a data scientist, you can now apply your models with the mindset of someone who understands the core of the business and then your models will really add great value to the company. So the second thing is that it is easier to be hired to, to get employment as a data analyst because it's linked to the, the third which is skills but it's easier to be hired as a data analyst because you just you can easily just get a job they don't need too much from you but a data scientist they need to trust you to give you their data to go stay two three days come up with some deep insight after you've been working with your black box nobody understands your xg boost your neural networks, convolutional neural networks, nobody understands that. So they need to really trust you to say, okay, I hand you this and I trust the result you're going to bring back from your analysis. So that is why it is easier to be recruited as a data analyst before with time you gain the trust to be promoted to a data scientist. And the third again is about the level of uh, coding that is required for the, the data analyst you might just use your Excel and that would be okay. It's not too complicated, you, you, you're ready to go. Whereas the data scientist cannot be contented with Excel, you need to use advanced programming stuff like R, Python, your SQL, you see. So it's a bit, the coding is heavier for a data, that, that, that data scientist than for a data analyst. So in the beginning, you can start as a data analyst and with time, you're learning more, coding, getting more experience, practicing more, improving your portfolio, and then you move on now to a data scientist. So uh, there you have it. If you feel like you want to move straight to a data scientist role, it's, it's your choice. It's good for high-tech companies. And, but for, for my advice is start as a data analyst remember data analyst also has the advantage that is close to the staff
close to the company so they always come to him for help in excel i have a problem with excel so he's close to the team so he's the first person they go to more than a data scientist but then here is what i have to say to you so if you like the video click on the like button subscribe share with your friends and see you next video wish you good data luck